I am Holly Hirschberg from DinnerGarden.org and I'm happy to be here with you at Chop Chop Magazine. I fight hunger in the United States by giving away seeds and teaching people to grow their own food. Did you garden as a child? Did I garden as a child? No. I never liked gardening as a child. I started gardening as an adult because I went to a botanical garden and everything there was so beautiful. They had, it was in Virginia, and they have a thing in the spring called a million blooms where they have a million tulips and the flowers were so pretty that I went home and planted 500 tulips in my yard. What is the goal of the dinner garden? Uh, the goal of the dinner garden is to help people have food for their family that they grow themselves. How does the dinner garden send out seeds to everyone who requests them? We send out seeds to people who request them in the mail. Or sometimes we send them to distribution sites like a store or a restaurant where people can go pick them up. What is seed saving? Seed saving is when you get your seeds from something you eat or from something you grow and you save the seeds that come out of them and grow them again next year. Like if you eat a really great pepper and you take the seeds out from the middle and you put those aside, let them dry out, then next year you can grow those peppers. What advice do you have for kids or adults who are nervous to start their first garden? Okay, my advice to kids or adults who are nervous to start their first garden, the seeds do all the work. They need light, they need dirt, they need water. And they'll just grow because they're designed to grow. It really doesn't take a lot of input from you. What are the easier plants to start with? I think lettuce is really easy to start with. That grows in about two inches of dirt and it grows in cooler weather so you can just take a little container of dirt, toss some lettuce seeds on top and let them go uh, and they'll grow just fine. But that has to be a cool season plant. Tomatoes are pretty easy too when you have warmer weather but not when you have super, super hot Do you think kids weather. are more willing to try foods that they've grown themselves? Do I think kids are more willing to try foods they grow themselves? Yeah, I sure am. You know, I when I grew up, I wasn't a big veggie eater. I didn't really like vegetables. I always liked fruit, but I didn't really like vegetables. But I know when I started growing it myself, even as an adult, I think, wow, I got to taste it. And I, it turns out that I like vegetables. I like almost everything that comes out of my garden. What kinds of food do you grow in your own garden? I grow in my garden. I grow everything I can think of. Right now, I have broccoli going because I have the cold weather crops. I have broccoli, I have chard, I have onions, I have beets, I have radishes, I have a whole bunch of stuff going on for cold weather. As we move into spring, I'm going to start growing my tomatoes and peppers and cucumbers and all the good salad -y foods. Did you cook a lot when you were a kid? And if so, did you have a signature dish? I loved to cook when I was a kid. I was never a really great cook, but I loved to cook. I like to decorate cakes. Um, but my signature dish, I would have to say, is grilled cheese. I can make really excellent grilled cheese. What kind of feedback do you get from recipients of these seeds? People who get our seeds really like them. They're very excited to have a way to provide for their family and take care of the people that they love with good nutritious food that they you grow. Know, so many people think that they can't grow. They come to me and they say, Holly, I have a brown thumb. Everything I put in the ground dies. Typically, that is because you try planting things at the wrong time. If carrots are on sale in the spring in the garden store and you try and plant them, they're not going to grow because carrots are a cold weather crop. You really need to, if you're going to do one thing for your garden, look up the time that's appropriate to plant them, the seeds that you're getting, and then plant them at the right time and you will be successful. It really, the seeds do all the work. I know Chop Chop is a magazine for people who cook and I think that's wonderful and we love kids who cook we love kids who grow we love families to do things together if you have any recipes that you've come up with yourself and you want to send them to us at the dinner garden we do a fundraising cookbook and we'll put your recipe in our cookbook you can send it to recipes at dinnergarden.org and we would love to see what you're cooking at home thanks chop chop magazine for having me as a guest on your blog and come visit us at our website which is www.dinnergarden.org